Hey everybody, welcome back to day 22 of our non-alcoholic beer and gin review series. Uh, this is my New Year's resolution to not have anything to drink for the entire month of January and instead what I'm doing is reviewing a new non-alcoholic beer or gin each day in the month. Uh, we'll get right into it today. Today we are reviewing the St. Ambois India Pale Ale. So this particular one lists uh, 64 calories. Ingredients, water, barley, hops, yeast, sucrose. Um, and I looked on their website, I couldn't find much of anything about the hops or the, or the malts that are in it, other than it said it's complemented with a citra hop aroma. So there's obviously some citra hops in there. Uh, you know, let's give that one a go. Uh, nice, full, creamy, white head, uh, medium to fine bubbles that's holding actually really quite uh, well, especially for a non-alcoholic beer. Uh, Color-wise, uh, kind of a nice golden tone, a little bit of kind of amberish, coppery hues, but not much. Uh, looks a little darker in that to me on the screen there than it does in person. But, you know, expect what you expect for an IPA. Let's check out the nose. Oh, good bit of hops. Uh, piney. Almost a bit like a, not skunky, but a little bit of uh, cannabis sort of smell almost. Not that I would know what that smells like, of course. A uh, little bit of citrus, pineapple, quite a nice uh, blend of aromas, almost a little bit of tobacco too, this is really quite a complex nose, uh, definitely the hops though right up at the front, oh yeah especially when I smell it out of the can, really get that pine uh, centered hops up front um, and that little bit of uh, tobacco quite uh, quite nice okay let's uh, let's give it a taste cheers hmm interesting so it's got that uh, definitely got the hops bitterness to it uh, there's something else in kind of the mid palette towards the finish. Just now I'm getting quite a, a nice, clean, hoppy, bitter finish to it. Definitely not as much fruit um, as I was noticing on the nose. Yeah, there's a flavor there that tastes a little bit like a uh, like a type of wood is kind of, <laughs> I know that sounds strange, but not cedar, but uh, yeah, kind of a pine spruce sort of thing, but uh, dry. It's, it's not, it uh, doesn't jump out at you. Mouthfeel and body's a little bit on the thin side, better than quite a few non-alcoholic beers, but not as much as a regular beer. Um, <clears throat> I, I would th think if you gave this to quite a few people, though, they would have a hard time telling it was not an alcoholic beer. Yeah, really pleasant hops little bit of that tobacco just on the finish with the pine uh, and the bitterness of the hops in the mouth. Uh, I quite enjoy that. That's a really nice uh, 
version of a pay of an IPA like this this to me is one of the first IPAs that we've tasted that to me tastes like what I expect an IPA to taste like which is probably more of a west coast IPA which is interesting because it's a Quebec company and I think of east coast IPAs as uh, hazier fruity more fruit forward that sort of thing whereas this is more that sort of solid hop backbone that I'm used to There is something in the middle that I just can't put my finger on in terms of a flavor, but it's very pleasant and enjoyable. Uh, I would give that beer, let's give that an 8.7 out of 10. Um, I don't think it's the absolute best we've had in a test yet, but pretty darn close. Certainly the best example of an IPA we've had, I think, in the test so far. Uh, so we'll give that an 8.7 out of 10. And uh, we'll see you again for tomorrow for day 23. Thanks very much. Have a good night.